Julia, do you naturally take on this motherly role with people that you work with? I mean, I saw it with Sam a little while ago. He's saying yes. I know, I can't help it. And I try not to be too motherly. Like I wanted him to see me as like a girl and not like, you know, <laughs> how are you feeling? Can I get you a cup of tea? It's like, have you eaten breakfast? Yeah. Um, so yes, I'm torn between two um, age groups. Um, but it's, I like everybody to be happy and comfortable and to feel that they're in the right place and so yeah and for Stefan and I we had all of these really long really challenging scenes and it was just the two of us and yeah. so it was really important to me that that was a space that he wanted to be in all the time I mean, yeah. we didn't have much choice but I wanted him to be happy wow yeah. what about the schedule as a mom did you prefer that um, I did there was definitely a time when I realized that my kids and I were all doing homework together. <laughs> and then they'd be like, is it time for dinner now? I'm like, I still have more homework. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, there was a lot of homework on mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. And that was another thing I have to take my hat off to my pal here, Stefan, because, you know, 11 minutes of talking is 11 pages of dialogue to learn. That's a lot. And I, he never missed a word, never missed a comma. It was pretty impressive. I know it's been about a year now how your kids surprised you for your 50th birthday. I wasn't there, but just reading the story brought tears to my eyes. Yeah. What did that moment mean to you? I was, well, you know, I mean, what it meant ultimately is that I'm married to the right person who fully and completely understands me. And I could not have predicted waking up on my birthday in this beautiful place with my husband. We were having the best time. And a few hours into my birthday, I kind of thought like, oh, how funny, I'm not gonna see the kids on my birthday. That's, hmm, that feels strange. But we're still having a great time. We had a new adventure ahead of us and we go off to have this adventure. You don't know this story. We go into this surfing shop in San Francisco because it's my birthday. <laughs> and, uh, and in the back of the shop that we've been to many times, there's a bathroom and we've been driving for hours and I go into the back of the shop and I'm in the bathroom and now, all along the drive, I'm getting texts from friends about the soccer games that are going on, because mm -hmm. it was a Saturday. And I come out of the bathroom, and Danny's holding the surfboard. He goes, what do you think of this board, baby? It's a great, I go, it's gorgeous. He goes, yeah, do you think the color, the whole thing? And then he just moves it, and all the kids were hiding oh, behind gosh. it. Oh, gosh, wow. And I was so shocked, and what he told me later was so funny was that at one point, we stopped at a red light near the store, and they were on the sidewalk and he was like and he, he actually reached over and he goes look at the name of this street and i wish i could remember the name of it because it was something so pedantic and he was like geez look at that and i go yeah and he kind of had a good grip on me i was like he's so sweet this is so strange because they were like right there outside wow. the car and he was wow. trying to think what will i do if she looks over and goes oh my god there's her right. children in san francisco oh, wow. so is it hard to surprise you um, no, I don't think so. Yeah. Very gullible. I don't know if you've noticed. I pretty much believe everything people tell me. No, not at all. Yeah. I met a family that um, you may know. We don't have to say who it is, but they told me that you sometimes bake goods at your kids' sporting events. Is well, that Well, when true? you're the snack mom. You're the, you're the snack I mom. I was the snack mom last weekend because I knew I was working this so, weekend. So what do you make? Um, last weekend it was um, scones was the, there's always some bread product, right? And then I brought fruit, tangerines, and I think watermelon. Okay. And uh, going against my environmental everything, I brought individual chocolate milks. Ooh. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of packaging. It was hard for me to do that. And then do you sometimes knit during the games? That's the only yeah. other Yeah, who are you talking to? Super yeah. mom. The secret Super service mom, there. <laughs> That's it. That's all they told me. She, she's the greatest snack mom. And then sometimes she knits during the games. Yeah. It, is, do, you, do you make like... Lots of things. Lots of things. I learned how to knit on the Pelican Brief. Really? Yes, by the standby painter, Eric Bart, who was the standby uh -huh. painter on Pelican Brief. What are you knitting? Currently, I'm knitting sort of a wrap. 